Hi everybody, Dee Dee Russell here with WeddingVenueOwners.com and the Wedding Venue Owners and Managers community on Facebook. Find us there if you haven't already. Um, we have an outstanding guest today, someone that is like your virtual support team, your, your superhero, your wedding venue superhero I have today. You're gonna love this one. Um, we have Jen. Uh, with uh, Weaven and Weaven is, you know, just basically your entire virtual backend team, you know, supporting you, helping you. Uh, but I don't want to, you know, how I like to get off topic and go for hours and hours and never let Jen talk. Uh, she's the expert. So I got to shut up and let her go and tell us all the great details about Weaven. Before we get started, you know, I love to shout out to my sponsors. Our sponsors help make it possible for wedding venue education information to get out to all of you. It's so vital and important as you see me mention the, these few sponsors and you'll see their um, emails and websites at the bottom. Please go and like their social media pages, learn more about them. They're making sure and it's their goal in working with WeddingVenueOwners.com to make sure that you have access to wedding education information and support services that make your life easier, better and happier. Um, so first off, let's thank um, let's thank Ventura, our, our long running, long standing, amazing um, wedding support for um, the event liability and cancellation insurance platform built with venues in mind, not just that, but also Lee Midkiff, co-founder uh, and also a venue owner. Moppet, I love Moppet. Moppet is not a notebook. It's just on my notebook, by the way. Um, Moppet is floor scrubbers and they're amazing. They have a lot of um, demonstrations on YouTube. So look them up on YouTube. If you have been battling with those late night cleanups that just drive you nuts and you know you wanna take that three hour cleanup before the next event uh, down to like, you know, maybe 30 minutes. I don't know, is it possible? You let us know, but Moppet, uh, dot com for floor scrubbers, the scrubbers. They have a lease program. The Seat Co, which we love. We absolutely love the Seat Co. Um, they have a special offer for WeddingVenueOwners.com community only. If you want that offer, contact me, Dee Dee, at WeddingVenueOwners.com. The Seat Co, affordable, lightweight. Oh my gosh, no more shin bruises for you flipping a room. And of course, we've I keep my mug here and I love it. Um, my Weeben mug. I, I'm a nerd for tchotchkes and swag. I love good swag. Um, so Jen, thank you for sitting there for five hours while I introduce all of our sponsors. Oh, um, we thank you so much for being one of our official sponsors. We're so proud to work with you. Um, welcome. Thank you for being here. Please introduce yourself and tell everyone, um, how these wedding venue owners that are kind of frantic and in those frantic spaces right now can use weave in and what you're going to do for us today. We have a demo. Yes, I'm super excited to show them. So thank you so much, Dee Dee. Um, you had had me on a little while back um, and allowed me to talk a little bit about what Weaven has to offer, but just kind of a high level recap to get us started about who we are and what we do. Weaven is um, a first of its kind, two-sided, all-in-one lead and event management system. Um, we are designed specifically for wedding venues. So what I mean by that is the team at Weaven spent time at these amazing, unique, kind of non-traditional, more DIY-oriented spaces, your barns, your farms, your vineyards, breweries, B&Bs, um, super cool like museums and funky industrial spaces and all that stuff. Um, but the idea was for us to learn, you know, really in depth the needs, um, all of these owners and hosts and what they're up against, I guess, out there, their plight, if you will. Um, and we were able to see kind of all that's involved from inquiry all the way through to event day. Um, and then we went about building the system quite literally for that um, in, in the sense of kind of streamlining the process, um, affording greater efficiencies, helping mitigate some risk and liability along the way. And one of the best parts about what we do here is we off also offer a whole client side uh, portal to enhance like collaboration and eliminate friction and the stress kind of in all of the planning elements from the venue side and the couple side. Um, and what we feel that it does is help these uh, these owners and hosts to really sort of save their valuable time, increase conversion and profits, um, and all while allowing them to really kind of afford that high touch, personalized, super professional white glove experience that they want to offer their clients on the other side. And so do we. So we kind of feel like we align with sort of their mission and their motives, and we've built a system to help them to do that. 
Um, and we do understand how busy it is right now. I get that like event season is kicking off. This is, you know, we're coming out of a pandemic situation where I think volume is what doubled at this point and people are doing things at all different times and days and, and what have you. And I think the system now more than ever um, could really jump in there to help them streamline things and get themselves organized and really be able to put their best foot forward um, and kind of make things go. So that's essentially who we are and why we built it. And uh, I'd love to take a few minutes to just kind of show it, if that's all Let's right. Look. Let's look. take a look at this awesome system. I cannot believe how lucky we are to get a demo. We're getting the backstage pass at Weavin. Let's check it out. Yay. All right. Super cool. I'm going to share my screen here with you. Okay. Can you see that? Okay, Dee Dee? Yeah, I see it. Oh, welcome, Dee Dee. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, my ego loves it when I see my name <laughs> pop up on the screen. I'm in already. You have me. We don't need the rest of the demo. I'm done. I'm ready. <laughs> Making it all about you today, Didi. All right. Um, so essentially, I'm going to show you um, the venues experience, and then I'll quick, quickly show you the couple side too, so that you can see how it all kind of connects together and seamlessly feeds all of this requisite information back and forth with ease. Um, so this is the Weaven dashboard. It's customized to the account owner and or their team members. So of course, DD today, and this sort of ser serves as the home base um, for all things anchoring events at your space. And as we scroll down here, this is your trusty pipeline. Um, so essentially, we are the only system that funnels all of our venue owners and host inquiries from whichever sources they're using. So not Wedding Wire, here comes the guy, their website, any of the social media channels. Um, and what that means is there's no logging in here, there, and everywhere, um, you know, to respond and getting all jammed up in these messy inboxes. Here, everything is organized by couple, as you can see here. Um, it's by couple and by event. And you can see all these details right up front as you log in here and kind of click around and it'll help you quickly determine your best fit leads. And any unread messages um, you can see are highlighted in pink, which is kind of a call to action um, to make sure that you kind of know what to respond to real quickly. You can easily move them right down this pipeline here, um, you know, to a, to a requested phase or all the way over to proposal sent, work your contracts through here and to booked. Um, and essentially that's really kind of where all the magic happens is once these uh, venue hosts are moving these couples into a book phase. Um, and what happens at that point, once they get there is um, they get this nice personalized by the host, but invitation uh, right into their own couples portal, which is super cool. And I'm gonna show you that side um, when we get to the end. So you kind of see how this is all interconnected, but so that there's this venue side portal and then a couple side portal and all of the magic kind of happens in between in terms of the collaboration and the interconnected elements there. So if I click over into the booked, this would bring them all to um, these book couples here you can see. So it's listed by their stage and then by their event and their date. So it's all organized. And as I click into a booked event, you can see this is all of their messaging, soup to nuts. And at the top, everything is organized here by these event details that I had mentioned. So it's going to tell you the day of the event and the guests that are coming, give you a little insight into the couples and their vision. Um, their budget and all of that good information so you can understand kind of who they are and qualify them a little bit. I'm going to show you later on their side that they get to build their own really cool wedding website and you can access it right here through this link. And also, Jen, just to yeah. interrupt for a second, sure. this is really amazing and there's a lot in here are the so the couples also have their login portals so that they're updating information as well, correct? Exactly. So everything that you're going to see here on the venue side, organized by these tabs, and I'll kind of show you how they work, they see as well on their side. And at the end, we'll take a quick peek over to the, the couple side of the portal, if that makes sense, and kind of show how it works on their end. But yes, it's all meant to be really collaborative and help the venue to stay organized and manage their side of the piece while the couples are on their side kind of planning and doing their thing, you know, between the time that they contacted you and all the way through their event, there's so much back and forth, right? And we're trying to kind of make sure that runs really smoothly. And it helps the couples to be able to see all of this information about the venue at their disposal. And it's all very specific to the venue as opposed to them over there kind of planning in a vacuum while the venue is trying to manage things on their end. This ties the two together, Dee Dee, yes. All right, so as you can see from these tabs here, the first piece is messaging, right? So right from inquiry, um, there's this messaging phase here. 
Um, and what happens essentially is everything is organized by subject line. So everything is here. They can see everything that's ever transpired and any document or you know, vendor list or anything that's been shared over here is also organized in this way. And what's really cool is that they're not now having to retype right, these messages out over and over again or copying and pasting and trying to make sure we've got you know, the, the, um, the bride or the couple's name spelled properly and all of that. All of these messages as you go ahead and issue one can be run through a template situation here. And you can have templates for initial responses or anything along the way that you would have built. You can attach brochures in here, vendor lists, but they're all templated up with smart fields. So it's gonna automatically pull in, um, you know, the, the bride and the groom or the couple's information in here, the subject line, the topics, and we'll all pre-populate um, by template. And um, down the bottom, they can attach all of the really pertinent information, right? Sharing information with them, documents, preferred vendors, brochures, or requesting information back from them too. And you'll see through our tasks that we'll get them all organized, but essentially it's this nice way of having templates and even auto responses if they wanted to personalize those for times that they may be out of the office um, or even just generally speaking for really quick response time. We know that, you know, we learn that kind of the quicker you're able to respond um, to these couples, kind of the quicker you're going to get, you know, the booking, I guess, essentially. So that's where all the messaging stuff takes place in here and captures it. Tasks is something that was actually requested by our hosts and built to help them manage things for the couples here. So essentially what can happen here, um, it's meant to track different event details in terms of the correspondence, right? So you can preset tasks for you, your team, and your clients. They can be either um, internally or externally visible. You can see how you can set it here with these little, whether you can see it or not means whether or not just the venue side can see it or the couple side can see it. Um, the associated dates and deadlines are all there for them and you can set up reminders. So here's a way that you can set up if you want vendor lists in by a certain time or the payments that are coming due, um, uploading certain things for them, um, COIs or seating charts. It can all be date driven and it can also set reminders for them automatically so they kind of know when things are coming due. And on their side of the portal, they have all of the same task information listed. They can set their own tasks for themselves to organize and also all of the tasks that the venue set, right? So for the venue side, it could be things as simple as managing their own venue. And then for the client side, it could be making sure that, you know, they're doing all the things that they need to be doing and getting all of the information to, the, to you that you need to see from them in the times that you need to see them. We kind of consider this sort of like a file folder for each couple organized by each couple in each event, right? So you have absolutely every there, everything there at your fingertips as it applies to them. So all the tasks associated, all the payments that you're requesting of them that they need to make, the vendors that they're using, right? So if we click into kind of the payment section here, this is a way you can generate payment links to them. You can use whatever payment methods you're using today, whether that's cash, check, credit card, ACH payments have become pretty popular so that you can sort of supply that nice online convenient element to your to your couples um, and still have it really organized and, and sent back to you in a neat, clean way. There are reminders that can be issued for each of these things that you preset. So what's also really neat is instead of kind of nagging and chasing things down, whether that's a document or a payment or a task that you need them to do, all of these kind of reminders are preset for them at the generated, at the time frames that you would like to see them in. So if you want a final payment in by two weeks before the event or what have you, you preset that in the system, sending them their reminders and tracking it and logging it. And then all you have to do is just look in here and things are happening behind the scenes for you. Payments are coming in, their vendors are getting populated. You know, all of that stuff is happening and you've got to preset all of this information and just kind of expect it. And they're all organized right along with you to, to turn it all in. And you just get to click in and be like, yay, <laughs> it all happened. So with the payment system, can you explain that just quickly? Um, uh, is the payment system set up through Weaven where payments can come in through the couple, through the client, and then they're processed, documented, and then they go to the venue owner's um, set up account? Or how, does, how do payment systems work here? Sure, exactly. So Stripe basically is our payment processor. Okay. 
And during the onboarding time, we will help each of the venues that come on board with us get that all set up. But it's essentially just any way that they would do it now, um, you know, through their, their bank or whatever. They're just setting up that account on the system. And this is just a way in which to manage it. So as you can see here, they just generate payment links that go run directly from the system from their side of the portal directly over to the couple side of the portal where they request payments they can list you know the names behind it the amount that's due set these trusted little reminders here to make sure that they come in and send the payment links over everything is processed through stripe so it's really safe and secure and they can also dictate how they want payments to come in so whether that's ach or credit card whether they're just collecting checks and cash and then logging payments that's another option here but it's just another tab kind of on that virtual file folder, if you will, to make sure that, you know, that initial deposit and all those payments came in to the platform and then they're all housed here and both sides can see the couples can see that they've made their payments um, or what's due and then the venue side can see that everything has come in neat and clean and that everything's been collected. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Perfect. Great. So that's the payment piece and then jumping over to vendors, which I think is really cool. I love this. Yeah. Don't you? They love are, it. Honestly, our venues love it too. So not only can they share out their, you know, kind of preferred or recommended vendor list to the couple, but as the couple is choosing and selecting their vendors, all of that information is populated right here on the venue side. So they can see who's going to be on their property for all of these different categories on the day and have contact information for them. And one of the favorite parts, I think, for some of our venues is if you click this little three dot line item here, you can add. So say you had this super cool florist on your site that maybe wasn't one that you were familiar with before, but you wound up really loving them and they're like, oh, I need to add them to our vendor list right here, just click, add to your preferred vendor list, loop, it's just right there for you. It's something that ordinarily, I think a lot of us forget to, you know, to go back and do, or have to dig up all those details. You can literally just populate it right onto the vendor list right here. I cannot tell you how often I go to a website, you know, I'm always researching 200, 300 websites a week, as well as social media for the seven day social media marketing guide I send out to wedding venue owners. And I can tell you so often, I know that that vendor list has not been updated because those some of those businesses are out of business or yeah. some of those links don't work or all of that. And I know that our venue owners have, they find it challenging, a lot of them, to go on the back end of a WordPress yeah. website. Um, maybe they keep forgetting their, their Wix or GoDaddy or whatever their login, or maybe they outsource it to someone else and then they're having a challenging time um, you know, getting that person to update it. So having this so so sleekly, sleek, sleekly designed, so uh, sophisticated and simple um, for our venue owners to use. That is just such a simple feature. And then I love how you onboard and train them and educate them to use this so that it's not intimidating and they're in there all the time. And look how easily it's set up. I've seen a lot of back end to a lot of different web, um, a lot of different, um, you know, CRMs and different services. And I can tell you a lot of them are complicated at the back end. I mean, caterers, no offense to caterers out there, but oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So uh, please continue. Uh, I don't want to, I always forget. I, you know, I get nerdy about this stuff, but I love this vendor piece. I love it. No, I love it. I love that you're in an engaged. I totally appreciate it. The engagement makes it so much more fun, honestly. Um, so yes, that's the vendor's piece, which I think, again, to your point, it's nice and clean and neat and organized. And all of the pieces are here. And again, this is all running by couple and event, right? So it's all clean and neat and in one spot. All of their things around setup, right? Anything they might be needing in terms of maps and floor plans, um, you know, seating charts. And this is collaborative, right? So the venues put the pieces on that they want to share out to the couples. And then the couples are there on their side and they can upload, upload their seating charts and whatnot back to the venue. So everyone can see there's visibility here, there's connectivity, and everything associated with the event is all in one spot for everyone to see and have sort of that confidence that it's all there for you. Time okay, I know what I'm sorry, Jen. I'm gonna interrupt you a million times. Yeah, venue like owners that. watching this, can you just imagine for a minute your this page and how beautifully this looks and how organized it looks? Now go back to that moment when it's a few days before the wedding or your final walkthrough 30 days out or the payments, and you're like looking through your Gmail account to figure out, wait a minute, wait a minute, they sent me the updated. Where do I find that out? It's it's so easy. I thought I would just leave it in my Gmail as a I'll just go back to find that email. And how often can you not find that email or it's a stream of 20 emails and you can't find the one you're looking for. And then you're like, okay, I know they told 
told me that the floor plan, I know they sent it, but now I can't open it. Like, like searching through your emails or through all those files you have everywhere. What, I, you know, I can just imagine the stress and, and anxiety that is causing you. So think of that moment and now look back at this page. <laughs> Right. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Gone are the days, right? Of like trying to find it everything. Google Docs. Can you say Google Docs? <laughs> no, no, thank you very much. <laughs> and timelines. I also had quickly mentioned that on the couple side, they get to uh, put together their own wedding website. Um, but from that, they build a timeline right into the website and that's shared right out here for the venue. So they have full vis visibility into what they can expect, you know, who's coming on to their beautiful property at what times um, and how that's all gonna be organized. There's also sort of a collaborative timeline here that can be shared between venue and couple um, and anything else associated that they wanna have here. And what you kept speaking to, Didi, was how their documents are all organized. So every document that has been shared back and forth, whether that is a contract or a rental agreement or um, you know, the vendor list, all of those different things. I'm not sure why this isn't loading for me right now. Um, but all of those documents are housed right here at your disposal in just one of these tabs within this Amanda and Milo event with their details. Every document is here. And Dee, these are editable documents with e-signatures. So again, gone are the days of having to go out to some other resource, you know, your 15th resource to build these contracts. You can build them right here within the system share them out. They have all the smart fields, just like your templates do. So everything can be pre-populated in there. You can share it over. The couple then can initial and sign on these documents and share them back. And then they're all housed here right at your fingertips. So the couple can see the details in the contract and the venue host can know that they have these things here. COIs that they're collecting from vendors. All of those really important critical documents are here. And that's kind of when we talk about a little bit of like the liability and risk stuff. You know, everything had to have been completed because they can't return these documents until they are signed and initialed. All the details are here for you. All those COIs are collected. And you've got this nice peace of mind that everything is collected there in um, this one file folder for the big day of Amanda and Milo or whomever fiance and fiance are. Okay, great. So uh, let's hear a little more about the document section. Yes. So um, what's really neat here is, you know, had Didi had mentioned before finding all of these things at your fingertips. So here they are all listed, everything that has transpired, anything that they could have uploaded to you through their tasks element, um, anything that was transpired between your messages, right, that you shared out or they shared back with you. So that includes any kind of insurance COIs, uh, rental agreements, invoices, contracts, um, the layouts and floor plans, everything here permits, pricing packages, timelines, brochures that you share, every different document that you may share at a different point within this event, right, back and forth with this couple is all housed here in their documents for easy access for both the venue host and the couple side. So everyone can see everything that's here. It's nice and neat and clean and you know you've got it. Um, and again, as I mentioned, they're all editable, shareable, and you know that you have it based on the fields there. You can either require the clients update certain smart fields or that they can't edit it, must edit it, or can edit it, right? Um, so that's all there for you and you know you have it and you're covered, which I think is super cool. I love that. Um, and then probably pretty obvious, but still handy, any contacts associated with the account, right? Sometimes it's fiance and fiance. Other times it may be, you know, a mother or father of the bride who, or someone that might be paying for the wedding, those types of things. So you have all the contact information for the folks associated with this event and this couple. And then notes, I think is actually a really like, um, it's, it's a personal fave of my own. And I think when the venue hosts actually get in here and start using it, they truly see the value. Because if you think about the fact that you're planning a wedding, right, for what a good year, at least at this point, generally speaking, and all of this stuff crops up, these notes are sort of like, just like you can consider this your file folder for each of the events. There's also like sticky notes associated with each of the events, right? Anything you want to sort of notate about the couple or the day or something that's really important to them or important to you, anything that you need to remember 
or share within your team. Sometimes there's different people collaborating on an event. And these notes are only visible to the venue side. This is the one thing that's just for them um, so that they can kind of just freely put notes in here to kind of keep them aligned or aligned with the team and know everything that's going on over the course of time and not have lost all those individual little notes or, or scratch marks they've made here, there and everywhere. They just put it right here and it's there for them. And I, I do love this piece. And I will say I have worked with a lot of different CRMs. I mean, over the last 15 years, I'm, look, I'm looking at this, how beautifully laid out this is and, you know, insightful and ingenious, especially for our wedding venue owners needs and our wedding venue management team's needs. Um, so I've definitely seen uh, a lot of impressive um, items here. But one thing is, you know, you always have those um, final staff meetings. Like sometimes people meet every Monday and talk about the upcoming events, even, you know, six months down the road, three months down the road. And it's great for our venue owners and our management, you know, maybe our directors that are leading those, those meetings that, um, that say, all right, tell me about Amanda and Milo's event, so-and-so that's overseeing that. Can you tell me, do you have this, this, and this yet? And then, a man, uh, you know, they're able to say, yes, we have all of these things. And then they're going to say, well, wait a minute. I noticed that you have this and this in this work order or this BEO or whatever it is. Um, you know, that's not really our standard practice or policy. Why is it like that? Um, when you get asked a question like that on the spot, sometimes you can't remember, or if you're a venue owner and you don't have a team, you're the entire team. Um, and you can't remember why you strayed from your standard policies, um, or your standard, you know, operations methods, you go in those notes and those notes save your behind so often. I really recommend people, um, you know, using notes every single time I like to document, you know, so-and-so I, I like to do the cover your ass. Sorry, we're getting, yeah. we're getting sick censored here, but I like the CYA oh. in those notes, meaning I recommended that she did this, but she insisted that she was going to do this. Yes. So now you have it in your notes that you did have that conversation. You can even put in your notes, saved email from and such and such day and time. And then that way you can go back whenever that comes up and they go, well, I don't know why this isn't working. Remember, I told you it works best when you do this, but you insisted on this. Also, who can see those notes? Are, are the notes for both parties or are the notes just for the venue? Venue only, Dee Dee, on purpose. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one to know because I don't want to encourage anyone to go in there saying exactly. See why I know. And then, um, you have that. You, yes. Okay. All right. And rest assured, the notes are just visible to you and your team. Yes. That's great. Uh, maybe still pretend that your clients can see them and you know right, censor yourself right. a little bit. That's always a good rule of thumb. Probably makes sense. The last little thing I would love to show, and thank you for all that input because it's super valuable and makes perfect sense, um, is just the analytics side, which I think mm -hmm. is really critical to our hosts. And I'll tell you why before I jump over to the couples piece. So what the analytics do, Didi, I had mentioned up front that we are the only system that can streamline all of those different inquiry sources into this one place, right? So not only does it provide efficiency and organization to how you're conducting your, your outreach and everything associated in one spot, but it also helps you measure. Right. So a lot of our owners and hosts are, first of all, paying lots of money or at least at a minimum spending lots and lots of time sorting through these inquiries that come from all of these different spots and trying to determine what's best for their business. Right. Where are these resources best spent? So what we have here is this analytics section that's both for them internally in terms of communication, but also sales and marketing element that shows them as we scroll down here, where are all of these leads coming from? What sources? So whether it's their social media stuff, their own site, um, or you know your wedding, wa wedding wire and knots and those type of resources, here comes the guide, what have you. They're all here and it'll tell you what's booked well for you by percentages, um, what's been lost and kind of A, where you should be spending that cash if that's the case for you, or, or just as importantly, where you should be spending your time and focus um, on sorting through and kind of a qualification element. And on the communication side, this is kind of internal to your venue. So either you or you and your team, it kind of tells you all of the feedback here around how you're doing, you know, how quickly you're getting out to folks. Um, our system also tells you what's been received and open, so you can get a measure there, um, what time is being afforded to certain elements, and I just think it's a really critical piece um, that is here for you, and it's just rolled right in because everything's coming in here. So it's the one place where um, not only can you get it all in, but you can make decisions about how to run your business based on what you learn. 
Absolutely. Um, a lot of our venue owners do struggle with analytics. So having those really clear graphics are going to be a great help. And like I said, when you're wondering about investing in something like um, weave in, um, imagine being able to really grasp what those tools do for you, like that analytics monitoring system to tell you where you're wasting money, where there are holes in the bottom of the boat. Uh, you know, maybe you get a few surprises and you realize that, you know, those Facebook and Instagram leads are yeah. far more qualified and quality than some of those third party wedding websites. Well, that would be information that would save you a lot of money. Um, and a lot of our venue owners are not spending time in Google Analytics uh, or even have them set up. So this is definitely helpful. Right. Thank you. Yeah, no, we think so. We thought it was a really important tool. And that's the feedback we get too, that it's really nice to have that. Um, and it's you know really great way to determine, um, again, where that money should be spent. And we find often that we're saving a host of, a lot of cash, you know, at the end of a given year when they can look back and decide what to cut out. Um, can you see my screen now that I'm over on the yep. couple slides, Edie? Okay, perfect. I see it switched for you. All right. So this is their side. So as we said, you get your dashboard and all of the things that are associated with the venues uh, process flow. So do the couples so they can see in their wheel kind of where they are toward planning, just like any of your unanswered messages or tasks or whatnot are sort of in pink for you on your side. So are theirs. Everything is highlighted and associated directly with your specific venue here being highlighted and their event day. Um, perks that are associated. Um, they can also access us for help just like you can. Um, and this will show them. So tasks, as we had mentioned, they're all here on their side. Anything that's high priority or past due is here for them. Um, payments would pop up here. Um, and what's really neat, I think, is how much time do our venue owners and hosts spend back and forth communicating things that they believe they've already shared over, right? Around the amenities that are offered, um, any sort of rentals or services, accommodations that are around, rules and policies, right? Their vendor lists, all of those things here that they can see on their side are housed on the couple side. So when they're sitting on their couch, drinking a glass of wine at 10 o'clock at night on a Sunday, when they're doing a lot of their planning, as we well know, instead of popping a message over into that unwieldy inbox, instead, they're coming right here and they're looking and they're seeing exactly what's availed to them at your facility, at your property. And they can have get all those reminders because it's hard over the course of all of that planning time to remember everything that's transpired and everything that you've said and find everything that you've sent. So that's all listed here. They can click right in and get a view of it. And then their planning tools, right? Their own checklist, which looks a lot like um, the way in which yours does and their document manager and all of the same things that you're seeing and the way in which they can just upload these things directly in to your site are really critical mass. Um, and I had mentioned, so messaging the venue, getting any help from us, uploading files to you. And um, I also mentioned that they can build their own wedding website, which is really kind of awesome. And I'll show you real quick. So we've got templates set for them where they can um, now use this with their own guests and set up their page, which most of our couples we're finding do this. And now when they do it directly through tools that you've supplied them, complimentary, right? We've, we've learned from our couples that a lot of them are a lot more likely to book with venues that offer something like this. They're gonna go out and try and find it anyhow they wanna plan. And what this does is keep you close and collaborating because everything is done through their weave-in portal, connected right back to your weave-in portal. So you can see and have visibility into everything that's being shared out and your venue gets highlighted to that 150 guest pool, right? So this would list your venue name and your venue information and a beautiful big picture that you select and supply. Their stories here, their own little pictures, and they can plan for their guests, the scheduling, travel, registry information, uh, manage all their RSVPs through here and photos and whatnot. And it's all connected back and the venue can click into this anytime they want and see what's being communicated, um, as well as just have the peace of mind of knowing that they have shared this um, out you know, with their couples and give them this opportunity to kind of plan and stay front of mind, answer, you know, your payment links are all here for them. All of the different things that you've set up are here associated on their side for them to walk through their planning process, feel really confident that they're getting everything done. Because in most instances, maybe not every, but in most instances, this is their first time 
planning the, you know, one of the biggest events of their day to, of their lives to date. Um, and they need help, you know? And so when they're doing a lot of this stuff and the lift on their end, having this resource that you supplied them, they're grateful for it. It shows a great deal of professionalism and care from the venue and they stay connected with you all along the way. And you can see, um, and they can be doing it in their own time <laughs> without bugging you every five seconds for it. Right. And venue owners, imagine how stressful it gets for you um, that you really want to help educate your clients a little bit better so that they understand how to use your venue better, so that they understand some of your policies and regulations and structure better um, so that you're not getting there the week before. I mean, I can't tell you how many venue owners tell me that the couple showed up or the mother of the bride showed up at the venue and said, why haven't you set up all our tables and, 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 all, and why haven't you done all our centerpieces? And well, we don't do that. That's Right. The, you know, so some of those communication pieces can be um, really elevated and streamlined here so that you're not having those awkward surprises. So I, I think the biggest issue between venue owners and clients, I'm convinced, is uh, a faulty communication yeah. uh, where the communication has fallen apart or where you have assumed that they have become an expert on your contract and policies. <clears throat> and they have assumed that you're going to take care of everything they don't think of. We have a communication error there and yeah. look how beautifully this is all laid out so well, you know, solving a lot of those problems. Awesome. Thank you so much. And Dee, Dee the good news is we're really pretty affordable. <laughs> so there's a lot of systems out there that do pieces, you know, of what we do. Um, we really are the first ones that have put it all together. We kind of consider it the left brain and the right brain element, meaning the venue side and the couple side and all that collaborative stuff that meets in the middle. We're the only ones that put it all together and afford the ability to pull it all into one place. Um, and the way that we do our pricing is very customized. So it's in a way in which you know, we meet the venues where they are. You know, some of our venues are more kind of getting started. They're in that launch phase or early phase. Some are kind of in the middle there in growth mode and then others are more established, you know? And our pricing tier structure, if you will, is customized to the venue based on their need, you know, their size and their need. Um, and if the other thing that we just wanna mention here is because we value you so much, Dee Dee, and all the things that you do, or your wedding venue owners um, and the value that you look to supply them in doing things like what you're doing today. We also wanna make everyone aware that for anyone that comes to us um, through you, that we're gonna give them a free month, which I think also makes this kind of a risk-free proposition in terms of sort of jumping on and getting acclimated and working with our customer support team and getting up and running um, you know, without any associated risk there. We get you up and rolling and loving it in no time. Oh my gosh, Shen, I am so, this is a surprise. So we haven't <laughs> talked, this is so, I'm, I'm just, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm ruining this moment with my babbling, but I'm so excited. This is so <laughs> exciting. I absolutely, you know, I, I get teary-eyed nerdy over my wedding venue owners. I, I just, I, I, you know, I hear them cry. I hear them freak out. I hear them stressed and struggle. I know that they're by themselves and I love them. And I appreciate that they trust me to come to me and talk to me about things. And I just, all right. Whew, but I, I am just always so thrilled to provide them with something that helps them feel a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more eager to take the next step to their better progression, to their solutions. And for whatever reason, we get nervous about going to a place that is actually better organized. We freak out about that. You're touching my things. I got to, you know, I got to organize my things. And, you know, um, yeah. we get a little stressed. It's like moving to a new house. We know the movers have to come in and they're going to, you know, and so um, to have this month, uh, this free month to try things out and to really check it out and, and to get in there and maneuver all around and see how well you like it. Um, man, that means the world to me. And that means the world to me to offer to our venue owners. I am so excited to share that with them, to give them time to get to know you guys and to experience the onboarding process and to see that it's not painful and that you all are there to guide them every step of the way. And I love that you just said in the different phases of their venue journey. Some of them are startups and every single 
every single penny counts. Like you, you can't make a mistake. And I have worked with venue owners who have told me, I just got sucked into this charming sales pitch and I bought this thing that I've never used and I paid for it for a uh-huh. year. And then I have, um, you know, um, venues that say, well, I've had this amazing sales rep and she came on and said, I should get caterings or triple seed or honey, but whatever it is. And um, so uh-huh. I did that and now she's gone and I have no idea how to use it or to log in and they're still charging uh-huh. me for it. So for them to be empowered, is the greatest gift and for them to have a 30-day window to try this out test the waters venue owners don't be afraid you can get out of your your excel spreadsheets uh, management system you can get off of paper you can you can break the addiction to that paper you can do it it's gonna be okay and you can bring your clients along on this better organization better communication system you are going to sleep better at night you are going to feel more confident and you're gonna, you know, you're not gonna feel alone. And Jen has some great marketing material, and I love some of the pieces that she has um, in there. You know, talking about have you wanted to take a vacation and just felt like you were completely alone and you can't get away from your venue? Wedding venue owners working vacation, that is. <laughs> But it's, it's stressful. You know, what am I leaving behind? What processes are getting mixed missed? Well, if you have something organizing this for you, people could submit their documents and now they're there for both of you to see, and you can see it on the cruise ship or on the mountaintop or at the wedding venue owners working vacation to all of the amazing places we go to. So I I'm just really thrilled. Thank you so much, Jen. That, that means the world to me that our venue owners can check this out and, and, and do so for a month and really try it. Awesome. Well, you know what? We love your passion, Didi. It comes through loud and clear how much you care about them. We feel the same way. We really tried to get in the weeds with them um, and make sure that we understood the plight and built something specific for them, which I do think we're the only ones can say that we did that. And our support, I not only run the sales side, but I run the support side and that's on purpose um, because I like to know everyone that's coming onto the platform, what they have in mind for their own goals and expectations, and then make sure that they are well cared for every step of the way, not just onboarding, but throughout. And they will have one person. I give you my word, they have one person. There's never calling into an 800 number or you can't find someone or you have to re-explain, my gosh, my own frustration with service goes into everything that I try and build in terms of how we care for our customers, just the way we know they care for theirs and how important that is. So they will have one person assigned to their account from go all the way through. And then we continue to provide insights and help. You know, they are at all different phases. And just like you, Dee, Dee, communicating with all of these different venue owners and hosts, we have them too, you know, on our platform. And we learn, we learn and we learn and we learn and we love our learnings and it feeds our roadmap. And it also helps us to share out, you know, we have an advisory board and we try and keep our community really connected to for those learnings. And, and usually they bring brilliance and then they also have questions, right? So we learn from them and then we can also offer back in some of the ways or spots where they might, you know, be looking for a best tip or a best practice. So all of knowledge that. sharing, that's what our community, that's really the best and greatest change that the evolution of the wedding industry is seeing is our venue owners stepping up to take those leadership roles to knowledge share and to create this vast system of education that is self-sustaining and supporting and evolving and churning all of these good solutions. And our wedding venue owners are the winner of that amazing change, this transition through great companies like yours and through Moppet and through um, you know, uh, Ventura and Seco and all of these great you know, partners coming in to support. But also, um, you know, our venue owners taking that leadership role and feeling confident because of tools like this, you know, they should be leading our local wedding industries, they should be guiding and sharing and they should not be afraid to, um, to share with each other. And I think that is a foundation um, that you all really believe in wholeheartedly. And I adore that about Weaven. I think that everyone who's been in my group for the last five years knows that I have never shared these types of things. I, uh, you know, really try to just let our venue owners share and have authentic communication. But I do know that our venue owners struggle deeply and worry that they won't be able to stay in business. So being able to share this demo and show them exactly what they're in for and what it looks like and to have this, um, you know, 30 days is, is really great. And I just, I can't say how much I appreciate we even, I cannot just, I just, words cannot express. I'm just so thrilled right now. And I can't wait to share this with our venue owners and, and our managers, our amazing managers and our management teams that are out there. All of it. Yes. Yes. The whole group is super important. And this keeps them all aligned too, which is really neat. 
All right, so we are going to publish this and I'm going to make sure that Jen's information is everywhere all over this video. And um, I really hope that you'll subscribe to our channel because Jen and I are going to have some conversations. You saw all of those um, tabs and all of those things. Let's break down a little bit more over time. Let's, you know, come back in a couple of weeks and do another one. We're talking about documents. I mean, documents is a big conversation and, um, you know, some of the information and insight that they're learning and also think about the data that Weaven is compiling directly from wedding venue owners and what they're learning from that data. Definitely. I mean, you know, <laughs> advances are coming here and you all are going to benefit so greatly. So um, I'm just excited to see um, you all grow and, and evolve and develop and share this um, massive, um, you know, time-saving organization communication um, tool that is really going to help improve, uh, you know, how they love being venue owners. I mean, yes. that's what we want. We want them to love being wedding venue owners. And this is a huge step towards that goal. Absolutely. We want to give them some of that really valuable time back to do the parts that they love and not so much the parts that they don't. <laughs> so we like to take that part out of the equation and give them back that time to play and enjoy and love it again, honestly, and not deal with some of the stuff that's not so fabulous. That's right. All right, Jen, I will put all your contact info in here and we will have people connecting and sharing. And if you have uh, any questions for Jen, if you have any questions about this CRM, uh, if you have any questions about the methods or the processes, or if yours is giving you a challenge, a lot of you mention all the time that you have a CRM or a process and you're really challenged by it post those in there. You know, maybe um, I don't believe that any of these things are ever set in stone and they're never changed. They're always changing and they're changing based on your feedback. So venue owners and management teams out there, wedding planners, whomever, if you're watching this, brides and grooms and engaged couples, fiancés, if you're watching this and you have a challenge, a technical challenge that is giving you a headache or holding you back or making you not love the process, post in the comments. Weaven is watching. Weaven is watching. They would they want to be your your you know your go to to help make these more streamlined and enjoyable. Enjoyable. Yeah. Enjoying planning. Enjoying being a venue owner. So thanks yeah. again, Jen, with Weaven, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you, Didi, so much. Have a great weekend. See ya. You too.